Hello guys, I want to do a quick um, fuse um, removal on a E350 Mercedes-Benz. This is a model um, 2009 and um, formatic. And the problem with this uh, with this uh, vehicle is just a um, simple fuse problem. The horn isn't working on it. So if you come down here, I'll put the key in right now. You press on the horn and nothing happens, okay? You got nothing at all. Let's go ahead and shut it off. This particular model has several fuse boxes, fuse locations. Uh, it's got one over here. It's got one under the hood. Let's go ahead and get the hood open real quick. Okay. Go ahead. One thing I had to do with this because winter is really harsh here in Ohio. I had to actually oil it, uh, spray some WD-40 on it. Make sure when you Get a chance to open this up just so you won't run into the same problem i'm running into just grab a little bit of wd and spray it in there make sure you get a towel underneath there so you're not dripping wd all over your engine get that cleaned up right here makes it nice and smooth also you got um a couple latches over here spray this one real quick and spray that one too just to make it real easy and the fuse is basically located over here the fuse box is here all you got to do is just unscrew this Unscrew that, pull this up. Make sure you clear, there's three tabs over here. One, two, one, two, three. Make sure you get those off there and you don't break. I mean, uh, make sure you lift up and pull out so you won't break them. Next thing you wanna do, the fuse box is located right here. As you can see right here, uh, this is the lock position. This is the unlock position. And the same thing goes for over here. All you have to do is just lift up, I mean push up you push up here also and take this cover off it's pretty tight space so you have to kind of like do a little bit of finessing with this hang on a second I have to put this camera down sorry about that guys It just doesn't want to come off. Okay. I'm not having much luck here. It's completely loose, but it just won't come off. And I don't want to break it. <laughs> there we go. Finally loosened up. Okay. Um, I looked up the manual a little bit ago, and... Um, the horn fuse is actually 15 amp right down here. I don't know why this one sits off to the side. You see how this is off to the side a little bit? It's like, it's, I don't know, somebody must have been in here before and they moved it to the side or maybe this is the right way to do it. Anyway, you got um, 40 amps, 7.5, 15 and 15 amps. The two blue ones are 15 amps right here. But the horn is that one right here. And uh, this is the blown fuse. I checked it a little earlier and it's definitely bad. And um, unfortunately, I don't have a replacement, replacement fuse. But uh, in the event you run into horn, is, horn not working on your um, Mercedes-Benz E350 uh, 2009, and then it's located right here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put this cover back on here. It's a quick tutorial. I hope it helped you guys. I hope you guys uh, gotten some value out of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this cover back on here. Make sure this is up, make sure this is up and lay on here nice and flat. I have to put this camera down again, sorry about that guys. Okay, all right, nice and flat. Let's go ahead and lock this. This one's not right. I'll tell you what, they don't make it easy, huh? Okay, perfect, I got both in. So make sure you you slide this forward towards you. Make sure you slide this forward towards you also and lock it both in. You see that's a lock position. And also don't forget, like I mentioned over here, the last cover. Make sure you get all these three tabs in here. They go right here, one, two, three. 
and uh, basically just slide that in here. Hang on a second, you need both hands for this. Okay. All right, good. And just lay this down. And remember to tighten these buttons over here, or whatever you want to call them. Oops, this one's not in there, right? Okay, now it's in there. Okay, looks good. Just go ahead and tighten this up. And go ahead and tighten this up. Oops, this one's not lined up properly. Okay, now it looks good. Okay, so just remember, guys, uh, you got um, the fourth one down from the top. You got one, two, three, four. The fourth one is 15 amp blue fuse. And that's going to be your horn fuse. I hope this video helped you guys. Um, I don't have a whole lot to uh, show beside this uh, problem. One thing I also like to mention too, I've taken my vehicle in for um, to get new tires put on there and they installed wrong tires. So make sure you look at this. They put wider tires last time, I don't know why. And the vehicle would kind of jerk to the right and left. Make it look like you're swerving all the time. Okay, so here's here's the numbers that that you actually need. I hope this helps. Okay, I'm gonna get everything out of here. I mean, everything I can as far as uh, identif identifying the tires. And that's gonna conclude my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a simple fix, just a 15 amp fuse to um, fix the horn. I'm not sure why that uh, particular fuse was sitting to the side. It wasn't lined up with everything else. Everything else is just straight line down, except for that one. Maybe someone worked on it and moved it over. Uh, again, this is an E350 class Mercedes-Benz 2009 with the fuse uh, problem. Um, guys, please don't forget, if you're a part of my channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. If you already subscribed to my channel, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you've gotten any uh, value out of this video, don't forget to share it because it might help somebody. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, guys. I want to do a quick um, fuse um, removal on a E350 Mercedes-Benz. This is a model um, 2009 and um formatic and the problem with this uh with this uh, vehicle is just um simple fuse problem the horn isn't working on it so if you come down here i'll put the key in right now you press on the horn and nothing happens okay you got nothing at all Go ahead and shut it off. This particular model has several fuse boxes, fuse locations. Uh, it's got one over here. It's got one under the hood. Let's go ahead and get the hood open real quick. Okay. Go ahead. One thing I had to do with this because winter is really harsh here in Ohio. I had to actually oil it uh, spray some WD-40 on it make sure when you get a chance to open this up just so you won't run into the same problem I'm running to just grab a little bit of WD and spray it in there make sure you get a towel underneath there so you're not dripping WD all over your engine get that cleaned up right here makes it nice and smooth also you got um, a couple latches over here spray this one real quick and spray that one too just to make it real easy and the fuse is basically located over here. The fuse box is here. All you gotta do is just unscrew this, unscrew that, pull this up. Make sure you clear, there's three tabs over here. One, two, one, two, three. Make sure you get those off there and don't break. I mean, uh, make sure you lift up and pull out so you won't break them. Next thing you wanna do, the fuse box is located right here. As you can see right here, uh, this is the lock position. This is the unlock position. And the same thing goes for over here. All you have to do is just lift up. I mean, push up and push up here also. And take this cover off. Let's 
pretty tight space, so you have to kind of like do a little bit of finessing with this. Hang on a second, I have to put this camera down. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I don't like, it just doesn't want to come up. Okay. I'm not having much luck here. It's completely loose, but it just won't come off. And I don't want to break it. <laughs> there we go. Finally loosened up. Okay. Um, I looked up the manual a little bit ago, and um, the horn fuse is actually 15 amp right down here. I don't know why this one sits off to the side. You see how this is off to the side a little bit? It's like it's, I don't know, somebody must have been in here before and they moved it to the side or maybe this is the right way to do it. Anyway, you got um, 40 amps, 7.5, 15 and 15 amps. The two blue ones are 15 amps right here. But the horn is that one right here. And uh, this is the blown fuse. I checked it a little earlier and it's definitely bad. And um, unfortunately, I don't have a replacement, replacement fuse. But uh, in the event you run into horn, ish, horn not working on your um, Mercedes-Benz E350 uh, 2009, and then it's located right here, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put this cover back on here. It's a quick tutorial. I hope it helped you guys. I hope you guys uh, gotten some value out of this. I'm just going to go ahead and put this cover back on here. Make sure this is up. Make sure this is up and lay it on here nice and flat. I have to put this camera down again. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. All right, nice and flat. Let's go ahead and lock this. This one's not right. I'll tell you what, they don't make it easy, huh? Okay, perfect. I got both in. So make sure you you slide this forward towards you. Make sure you slide this forward towards you also and lock it both in. You see that's a locked position. And also don't forget, like I mentioned over here, the last cover. Make sure you get all these three tabs in here. They go right here, one, two, three. And uh, basically just slide that in here. Hang on a second, I need both hands for this. Okay. All right, good. And just lay this down. And remember to tighten these buttons over here, or whatever you want to call them. Oops, this one's not in there, right? Okay, now it's in there. Okay, looks good. Just go ahead and tighten this up. And go ahead and tighten this up. Oops, this one's not lined up properly. Okay, now it looks good, okay? So just remember, guys, uh, you got, um, fourth one down from the top you got one two three four the fourth one is 15 amp blue fuse and that's going to be your horn fuse i hope this video helped you guys um i don't have a whole lot to uh show beside this uh problem one thing i also like to mention too i've taken my vehicle in for um to get new tires put on there and they installed wrong tires so make sure you look at this they put wider tires last time, I don't know why. And the vehicle would kind of jerk to the right and left. Make it look like you're swerving all the time. Okay, so here's here's the numbers that, that you actually need. I hope this helps. Okay, I'm gonna get everything out of here. I mean, everything I can as far as uh, identif identifying the tires. And that's going to conclude my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's a simple fix, just a 15 amp fuse to um, fix the horn. I'm not sure why that uh, particular fuse was sitting to the side. It wasn't lined up with everything else. Everything else is just straight line down, except for that one. Maybe someone worked on it and moved it over. Uh, again, this is an E350 class Mercedes Benz 2009 with the fuse uh, problem. Um, guys, please don't forget, if you're a part of my channel, thank you so much, I really appreciate that. 
if you already subscribed to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you've gotten any uh, value out of this video, don't forget to share it because it might help somebody. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, YouTube. This is uh, take number two. I am uh, I was trying to do a video, but it, uh, the memory completely um, was full on my phone, so I'm doing another one, another video. This is uh, an 02 or 01 Lincoln Town Car. It's a signature series. And what we're trying to do over here is um, replace the window motor on the passenger side. And I just want to share a little tip with you guys. Uh, Here's the original part that came off of the that came off of the the Lincoln town car. The part number is right there, and uh, here's the part that came from AutoZone, which is right here. It's identical to it, but this this bottom part is all plastic, and this bottom part here, the original part, is all metal, which is not a big deal. But here's what the part looks like. Uh, but the reason I wanted to make video uh, make this video today because um, no one mentions uh, in the event that this window is down, what would you do? This window was stuck in the, in the down position, so it was all the way inside there. And it didn't give us enough room to tilt the motor out and get it out. So one thing we did after we loosened up the three screws, which is one, two, three. What you want to do is pull the motor out this way. I know it's a lot of work. Pull this motor like in this direction here. And... Uh, in order for you to get the window up, you would have to loosen up this screw here, uh, this screw, and that screw, and that would take this, you take this uh, cover off, and uh, the brushes will be in here. So what you would do, you would turn about 10 or 20 times, and you would lift, you stick your hand in here and lift the window up a little bit, come back here again, turn about 10, 20 times, lift the window up a little bit. It would be attached, it would be, it would be over here, so it's, it is kind of difficult doing it. Um, uh, that's what we had to do. Um, we loosened up these three screws. Maybe that's a long way of doing it, but that's the way we did it. And we would turn the, the brushes over here and we would lift the window up a little bit every time until we got it up all the way, as you guys can see here. So um, if you guys ever run into this issue with the window up, I'm sorry, with the window down, you would have to do that. And one thing I want to mention too, the last thing that we had to do is basically, if you guys are looking over here, the motor, the motor would have to be, you know, eventually would be, hang on a second, it would be in this position right here. Sorry, I'm trying to do it one hand and do the video on the other hand. It makes it very difficult. But you would be in this position over here and you would have to wedge um, a flathead screwdriver right here. And just basically pry it open and that would cause the part that's in here inside here let me show it to you guys uh, I think I tightened it down but anyway there's another plastic part in here that you would have to wedge out and uh, when that loosens up that basically disengages the the window from the motor and you should be able to lift it up and down. You, you, you could just probably skip this part over here and try to focus on this part over here. I hope this video helped you guys. Again, this is uh, an 02 or 01 uh, Lincoln Continental. Oh, not Continental, I apologize. It's a Lincoln Tom car and it's um, a driver side motor uh, with the window stuck in the uh, down position thanks for watching YouTube uh, if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like subscribe and remember sharing is caring if uh, you know somebody that could use this video please share it with someone thanks again for spending some time with me like subscribe and comment if you have any questions leave them below and um, thanks again for watching have a great day bye bye hello YouTube uh, this is a uh, 09 Mercury Milan and I'm trying to replace the passenger side headlights. And what you have to do, you have to go through the uh, wheel well and you gotta extract this uh, Phillips really long screw. You gotta take your time, it's a pain in the ass. And you gotta pull this little this little cover thing that I'm holding here in my hand. There's just one screw on top. 
and that would expose. Oh, I can't do it. There you go. You see that hole right here? And you just, if this thing, I don't know how to turn on the lights right now, but if you look in there, you'll definitely see the uh, your um, headlight right there. So it's about less than a minute job. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is part two of uh, 09 Mercury Milan. Uh, here's what the harness looks like, by the way, for the for the um, for the headlamp. It's um, it's not your common two bulb thing, and uh, the one that we bought was Sylvania bulb with only two terminals. So uh, when you do buy this model, Perez. When you do buy this model, make sure you get the right one. Okay, this thing is real pain in the ass, even though it's just one screw to uh, get in there. Uh, one thing you have to do, if, uh, you have to have the hood up, by the way. You have to open up the hood. And uh, let me see, is there any way to turn the lights on while you're using it? I'm not sure how to do that. But anyway, what you gotta do, you gotta come in from the top, and uh, you can see my finger right here. That's where it goes, right down here. I don't have enough light to show you, but anyway, it's uh, the plugs in right down here, and it's real pain in the ass. So be prepared. You just kind of run your you run your arm under the uh, under the wheel, and you come up here and you just pull the harness. You do have to, uh, by the way, you have to press this little thing right up here. See it up here? Push down on that. Use a screwdriver, long screwdriver, come in from the front press on this and that allows this harness to release. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hello YouTube, a quick uh, video on um, door trim panel uh, retainer. Um, the clips that you find in the GM and um, Cadillac, Buick and so on and so forth. Um, just a quick video on how to handle these retainers. Uh, when you first get your door off, the retainer is going to look like this. You just simply um, get a screwdriver and you push it into this point the back's got to look like this of course you're not going to see that till out um, if you do push it in too far if you do push this in too far and uh, that's no problem just disassemble one of the other ones that you have and get this uh, piece out and use it to push this part all the way in and then you can just um, look for it after you get the door panel off. Um, when you go to reinstall them, you want to put it in this position right here. It's got to look like this. Let me back up a little. Sorry about my nasty hands, dirty hands here. Uh, but what it's got, it's got to look like this on the bottom. See that right here? So when you go to push it in, it has room to um, squeeze back in there. And you just basically squeeze it in. I mean, push it back in. The parts get pushed in and it allows it to slide in. And when it's lined up properly, you just simply push this in. So initially it would look like this. Next step, you would push it in this far. Uh, third step is um, you just pull the panel. And uh, when you go to reassemble, make sure it looks like this. Thanks for watching YouTube. I know this uh, may be uh, common sense to some people that they do it every day for mechanics, but um, maybe it would help some others, other people that are not uh, as experienced. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hello YouTube. I want to do a quick parts list uh, on this. I'm not sure what they call it. It's a control panel for a limo. Here's all the switches. All right, one thing you have to replace over here, I had a bad switch on the um, AC and the hot, max and low. I had to replace that switch. I actually ordered the wrong switch, but I had to shave it down to get the contact to fit. Um, I will include the part number in the description. <clears throat> Business card is right here. Um, here's what the unit looks like. Uh, the seven segment was bad on this, which sits right here so I uh, ordered a new uh, seven segment uh, replace the switch and also the micro that drives it had to be replaced here's a picture of the bottom uh, 
Okay. Here's the part number off of the chip. Uh, here's the part number off of the seven segment. This was very difficult to find because the brightness on this was 8,000. Everything else was lower, but I was lucky to find it. It was shipped from England or Ireland, I don't remember. Um, here's a good look at the board. Part number off of the ICs, regulators, a uh, few drivers, a uh, few transistors in there, lots of LEDs. Um, I'm not sure what vehicle this belongs to, but um, it's a control panel for a limo. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Please like and subscribe.